everyone and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are back with a new NECA figure. So we are back with the ultimate uh, McCready from the John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, super excited to find this figure if you are watching this video as it is new. These are hitting uh, now around Father's Day, so you know June of, of 2021. Um, let's take a quick look at the packaging, and then you know let's let's jump in and look at the figure. So this packaging, I don't know if you could really tell, um, it has this kind of glossy metallic finish to it, which is awesome. The light plays really really well off of it all around. Um, it looks really really cool in person, and photographs kind of funny, but you can kind of get that shimmer. But of course, we have the iconic poster here on the front um you know on the side we have the the uh, the the outpost 31 uh along with the, the logo there some really great toy photography there on the back along with the description of the figure um here is the the barcode if you wanted to pause and go ahead and save that for scanning and then of course on the bottom of the box we have all of the fine folks over at NECA that were part of uh bringing this figure to life we have our typical gatefold uh, opening here with a little Velcro again. Great picture of the figure. And then, of course, the giant window here so that we can start to see uh, all of the different accessories and things that come with McCready. And there are quite a few. So we get three different heads. We get a series of hands. We get uh, his his uh, NECA brand of, uh, of whiskey along with a rocks glass. We get a, a hat. We get a shotgun. We get a lantern. And then uh, we get two pairs of eyewear for him. So lots of accessories here with uh, with Kurt Russell's McCready. So let's uh, let's head on over to the light box. Let's get this guy open and take a closer look at McCready. I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. All right. Well, here we are, and here we have uh, <laughs> McCready. So out of the box. Um, no, he does not come with the Melissa and Doug chair and side table that <laughs> is merely here for demonstrative purposes but um here we have a, a better look at uh at mccready so before we dive into the figure itself let's take a look at some of the accessories so um we do get additional heads so we get two additional heads here we get uh the, the two additional heads come with the uh the blue hood up because remember we we are in frigid temperatures here in the film so the hood is permanently up on these uh on these two head sculpts so there's one and there's the other both um angry versions of kurt russell um and while we're talking about the head sculpts and and even the one that's on there in general these are pretty good um they look really well uh they're really well painted i should say the sculpt is great um does it look exactly like kurt russell uh it kind of depends on the angle but you get who it is there's no question here what character we're looking at um i think the more expressive faces are a little more accurate to uh to kurt russell than the neutral one but overall i think you know these these are excellent and you know they swap out really easily you'll see that in the photography at the end um along with those you do get a really nicely painted shotgun here um just your standard fair shotgun a nice finish nice nice paint and detail on it uh you get a nice hat so the hat uh you know comes with that that uh the the kind of NECA fabric we're used to seeing if you have you know uh splinter or any of those types of characters but um it's nice it fits on his head very well on on both the haired <laughs> the, the hair down head as well as the um you know the, the blue hooded head and you can also kind of drape it around the back of his uh neck as well with the fabric you do get uh along with the sunglasses that you see him wearing there you do get uh safety goggles so again you can you can really recreate a bunch of looks that uh th that he has from the film um and then you get a series of hands so you get uh three different ungloved hands so a trigger finger, a kind of just a regular grip, and then um, another trigger finger. So, you know, you have one for each hand, and then um, you, know, you, you get another gloved hand. Uh, along with those accessories, you can also see that he is holding a rocks glass. Um, he comes with a bottle of NECA off-brand whiskey, um, you know, KJ whiskey 
really well painted there on the label. Lots of detail, really nice. Looks like there's liquid in, in the bottle, which is great. It even has that little, um, I love the attention to detail. It has the little like cone there at the bottom that like most uh, bottles have, really neat. And then you get a nice little um, kerosene lantern here as well with a, with a working handle. Again, lots of really nice detail. Um, you know, be careful with the NECA uh, accessories. Remember, this is a collectible, not a toy. So, you know, there, there are, um, this does feel like one of those things where if you just kind of throw this into a baggie, loose, um, might not come out okay. So, you know, just be careful. Now, on to the actual figure himself. So, McCready. Um, Let's pop the sunglasses off here. So the sunglasses do fit on all of the head sculpts, but um, I just kind of had them on here for the picture. And then of course the rocks glass, but let's actually take a look here at some of the paint and detail. Again, um, you know, the, the head sculpt is really nice, really well painted, um, absolutely does, you know, is it, again, is it a dead ringer for Kurt Russell? I don't think so, but it's close enough. Um, it looks really great. Uh, something that our buddy Toysha has pointed out when he was, um, doing his review, and I, I concur, um, the, the leather jacket, although it is just the soft rubber, between the way it's painted, the way it's textured, and the type of rubber that they use, um, it makes you feel like it's made out of, like, leather. So, good on you, NECA. Good job. Um... So really great detail throughout, uh, you know, throughout the jacket, all the seams and everything, um, down to the, the padding on the gloves, the big old cuffs. And the thing that's really neat about the gloves, because I'll show you this on one of the hands, you, when you want to take one of his hands off, you can actually, the cuff is separate there. So that way, when you put one of his hands on, um, he doesn't have the gloves on. Again, just a really nice attention to detail there. Um, down into the pants, same thing, tons of detail. The wrinkles, the zippers. Um, I just actually noticed when I had this on camera here, it looks like there's uh, the lighter, is right? That's the, that's the Zippo in his pocket. <laughs> really, really nice touch. Really nice touch, I like that. Um, yeah, and then of course, you know, the detail throughout the pants. Uh, the, the, again, the wrinkles, the boots, the, the laces, the soles, everything is, um, everything is wonderfully, wonderfully, wonderfully detailed. Uh, so let's get into the articulation here a bit. Um, so, uh, again with, uh, you know, this is kind of our standard NECA articulation that we're used to seeing. The good thing about this figure is I didn't have to heat anything up. Um, everything moved freely. You know, I had no issues moving any of the shoulder joints, elbow joints, nothing was stuck. Everything moved the way that I expected it to. Um, you know, we do get those single jointed elbows. We have the ball joints at the shoulders. Um, he could look down, he could look up. Um, the collar is soft, so it has some nice give to it. You know, when you're turning his head, uh, there is some semblance of an ab crunch under there. Um, you know, so he will bend forward, and he will bend back. Um, and then into his legs, you know, he can kick forward, he can kick back pretty well. Um, you know, kind of has that NECA diaper. Um, so again, just be careful because if you flex it too hard, you're gonna you're gonna rip that seam there in the middle. But um, you know, the, the, the legs get a, a, a nice amount of movement out of them. We have single jointed knees. Uh, we have a calf swivel there at the boot, and then we have our um, rotation pivot and swivel for the the feet. So um, you know, you, you can really get quite a bit of movement here out of. Uh, out, out of McCready. So uh, let me show you real quick to get it, to get the head off and then to get the new one on, you know, not a problem. Looks really great, tucks right into uh, the, the, the hooded sweatshirt part so you don't have any kind of um, seams or anything. And, you know, just to kind of show you real quick, you know, the, the how some of the ex other accessories, you know, that the hat fits. <laughs> The hat fits great. It's just so perfect. And then you could even, you know, like I said, you can you can have have it draped around his back, and you can give him his his safety goggles here. 
There you go. Look at that. Like he's ready to fight some aliens. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, let's zoom out and let's do some quick scale comparisons. All right. So here's a couple of really quick scale comparisons. Um, here he is next to another NECA figure. Um, here he is next to uh, NECA's modern Michael Myers. Um, here he is next to a uh, Diamond Select John Wick. Um, so as you can see, John Wick is a little bit taller, but I think that actually works out okay because uh, Keanu is, is a pretty tall guy. So um, there are your first two examples of how he scales with NECA stuff and, uh, and Diamond Select. So if we pull that out, um, here he is next to the Jazzwares um, fellow alien hunter himself, Master Chief. Again, you can have some pretty fun mashups there. And then, you know, just a reminder, you know, these are seven inch figures versus um, a six inch Logan. Um, Logan is very short, so obviously that kind of scale is not going to work for most people's collections. So with that, let's uh, flip the camera around and let's wrap this up. All right, so we have, uh, as you can see, an extremely successful figure here from NECA. They did a fantastic job here with, uh, with the things McCready. I mean, this is the, the the colors, the textures, the different types of plastic, the likeness, the paint, the detail, the accessories can go on and on as as we've already gone through. But this is a fantastic figure. Um, you know, if if you are a fan of John Carpenter's The Thing, uh, I feel like this is a must have for you. The thing that's really fun, the thing um, that's really fun about this figure is kind of the the hope that uh, that they make some of the creatures. Um, especially like the, the titular thing, um, you know, would be absolutely fantastic to pair along with this figure. Um, if you're worried about kind of opening up Pandora's box and kind of going down the rabbit hole, I mean, really, realistically speaking, all you would need is, is McCready and, and a monster. So, um, yeah, the, the, the literally the only nitpick that I, like I said, that I had with this figure, uh, again, was just a, a flamethrower would have been nice, but Hey, you make a monster, maybe you can pack in a flamethrower with it. Um, so again, you can find these, uh, the, this figure uh, is hitting target, um, now, uh, around father's day of 2021. Um, and it will be available at other retailers at a later date. Good job, NECA team. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so that way you don't miss videos like this where we take a deeper dive into the toys that we love. Uh, while you're down there, hit that bell icon so that way you get notifications when we post a new video and you don't miss anything. While you're subscribing to things, make sure you follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter where we're constantly posting toy news, toy photography, all the good stuff that's going on within the toy community. And then lastly, the podcast. So Adventures in Collecting, you can find us wherever you find podcasts simply by searching for Adventures in Collecting or you can hit the link in the description below which will take you to our website and you can find links to all of the things that I just talked about. Um, stay tuned after the the, uh, the transition for some additional photos here of McCready. And uh, as always, until next time.